Hey guys, Amivi How To here, and today I'll be showing you the Amivi 10.1.2 update. So the first thing that's new in this update is the new clip selection behavior. In the previous version of iMovie, when you clicked on a clip in the event library, nothing would happen, but now it just selects the whole clip instead. Dragging and selecting a portion of a clip doesn't work anymore like it used to. When you click anywhere on single clips, it just selects the whole thing. So instead, what you have to do in order to select portions of clips, you now have to hold the R key down on your keyboard, and then you are able to select clip portions. The next part of this update changes the behavior of making new projects. So first thing you notice in the projects view here is a large new project button in the project grid here. And this basically matches the look of the iOS version of iMovie. So when you make a new project, it now takes you straight away inside the editor. And the timeline now has a helpful hint on how to import clips. So starting out a project now is a lot faster since all you have to do is click on the clip from the event library and drag it inside the timeline. A downside though of this new change is that if you want to select a portion of a clip, it's now a lot less intuitive since it requires a separate keyboard shortcut. So once the clips are imported, you can still trim the clips easily by dragging the corners of the clip left or right. When you exit out of the newly created project, iMovie will now pop up with a window asking you to name your project. Once your project is named, it will show up in the project grid right here. Since themes are not an option in the initial project setup anymore, you have to enable them now by clicking on the settings label here in the project timeline. And in the settings menu here, you need to press this button next to the theme label here and a theme selection window will pop up and here you can select a project theme. Some other minor things in this update include support for additional app preview resolutions for the iPad Pro and Apple TV. And there's also some various stability improvements. This update unfortunately also adds some bugs too. So I'll quickly talk about working around a major bug in this update, which is dealing with transitions. This bug appears when entering a duration that lasts longer than the current duration of the transition. As an example, if I tried changing the length of this transition to be 1.5 seconds long instead of 1 second long, it just reverts the transition back to lasting just 1 second long. The clips that surround the transition point clearly have enough padding to support that transition length. So to work around that, you need to use the precision editor in iMovie. So what do you have to do? Just double click in between the clips right above the transition point and then you get in, into the precision editor interface. And you basically can expand the transition right in this interface itself without any problems. So that's how you work around this bug in the new update. So that's basically it on what's new in iMovie 10.1.2. Thank you for watching this iMovie update video. If you want to see my green screen tutorial, or my video about how you can duck audio in iMovie 10, click on the annotations above or click on the links in the description. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment on this video if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.